When adding shots with drag and drop, you'll start by loading a clip in the source monitor and marking the section you'll use in your sequence. Then you use the track selector panel to determine which source material you'll add to the timeline. You can ignore the record side because where you drag and drop the clip will determine which tracks it lands on. Check out the segment tool button. Both segment tools are active right now. When adding clips one right after another, this is fine. So you'll continue to load clips in the source monitor, mark a section, check the source side track selectors, and drag them to the timeline. By the way, you can hold the control key on Windows or the command key on the Mac to snap a clip to the end of the previous clip. What if you want to insert a shot between two shots? Now you'll either want to activate just the splice in tool in the segment tool menu, or change the default segment tool to segment insert in the timeline settings edit tab. Then load and mark the clips as usual, check your source track selectors, and drag it to its insertion point in the timeline, holding down control on Windows or command on the Mac to snap it in place. When inserting a source clip between two timeline clips, you'll need to pay close attention to track selectors. If you don't, you could throw your sequence out of sync, as indicated by these white numbers. Breaking sync is covered in another lesson, so we'll just undo for now and fix the track selection error. It's as if the mistake never happened. On that note, you're ready to rough together a sequence with drag and drop.